Yes, my people, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We are an experienced detective. It's about to educate you with facts and not propaganda, hyperbole for the government or its millions. Well, as I've stated before in the other video, this is part two of to show you, you know, that you know, um, the Jamaica Constabulary Force is a force of good corruption. When I say a force of good corruption, let me just refresh your memory about what I've said before to show you um, all this appointed um, fraud. Anthony Anderson being appointed to the police force as a commissioner of police with no expertise in policing. You understand? But all he brought from the Jamaica Defense Force with him was corruption. And the corruption is that he has brought with him is that an enlisted soldier from the Jamaica Defense Force was brought to the fore of the Jamaica Constabulary Force and become a gasset officer. A gasset officer in which you have police officers who are serving 10, 15, 20 years and they are still constable or even below the rank of an ASP in which this man has no certification in policing but has been appointed to that rank. As a, as a gazette officer you understand and do you think that when this man left he's leaving now because he's a police officer with no training so it's just like you would take the the groundsman from Kingston College and turn him into principal of Kingston College he becomes because he's a groundsman and, and he's connected so they just appoint him you understand so that is what happened with the police force so when his motto is a force of good. Yes, a force of good corruption because he has shown us this is what the force is at this point. It is more corrupted than ever. It has never been this corru corrupted than it is now. You understand? So as I've told you, you know, in my previous video, that um, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Fitz Bailey, you know, he's an unconscionable, unethical, immoral, dishonest, and a, an, an alleged corrupt police officer because of his stance of, of um, corrupting the police force by protecting Mr. Patrick Bailey from prosecution in which Mr. Bailey should be arrested and charged for the murder of Mr. Jeremy and Junior. So that was one incident we have, we have one example and an incident where I show you where the corruption is rife in the police force. Because that case involving the death of Jeremy and Junior is a clear cut. It's a clear cut circumstantial evidence. And even a district constable could arrest Mr. Patrick Bailey and they convicted him in court because the prosecutor would know how to deliver the message, the argument of the case to the jurors for them to understand and infer from the evidence that yes, this is it. You understand? And they would they would make sure that all of everything that's happened before, that is it is breakdown. In Mama Papa understanding that people can understand. You understand? So that's how it is. So now we are going on now to the the most one of the most pressing issues that you know of another case of murder that the murderer is free in Jamaica. You understand? And and I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what a person's background or who they are related to or what they are or what people want to perceive about them. What we must understand is that a life is still a life. You understand? And I am going to elaborate now to tell you about two cases of murder that's happened in Jamaica and the murderer is free. You understand? No charges, nothing. So here it is now. The murder of Owen Roy Rifle, Clark and Alfonso, Alfonso won a British Harriet in which the weapon 
was found in the possession and control of one of Jamaica's dancehall artists, Leroy Camille Sparta Russell's possession and his control. So the weapon that killed Owen, Roy Falklark and Alfonso, one of British Harriet's, was found in this man's possession. But this man, Tommy Lee, he pleaded guilty in court to possession of firearm and ammunition. But to date, guess what happened? To date, no charge of murders have been brought against him for the killings. And why? So here is another classic case of murder with the weapon recovered from a man who pleaded guilty for being in possession of the firearm that commit the crimes of murder. And after it is revealed, it is the weapon that took the lives of two Jamaicans, the deafening silence from the police force and its hierarchy. The case, this, the case is the second easiest murder case to arrest and charge Leroy, Tommy Lee, Sparta, Russell with two counts of murder. And let Tommy Lee squeal and DJ, oh, the person that gave him the firearm, if that was established during his question and answers before his lawyers. Is it because of his late lawyer and, and he is um, the Minister of National Security Council in St. James? These people have lost their life, don't deserve justice. Come on. So what they are telling, showing the Jamaican people, you know, because of the synonymous and the, syn with the, the, the things that are attached to these people's name, that they are this and they are that during their life. So um, they were murdered. So their murder case, their, ki their, their killings is not murder. It's something that nobody to speak about. And the police just reported it and nothing happened. So I'm going to show you the difference with policing and politics in Jamaica. You understand? And at the time I was stationed in St. Elizabeth when it happened. And most people is going to be shocked to know that the brother of Dodos, Jati, that's Mark, Mark Cook, on Sunday, February 2nd, 1992, Mark Jati Cook from Tivoli Gardens, Kingston, was killed along Maxfield Avenue, Kingston 13, near Fitzgerald Avenue. Detective Inspector Ivan O. Thompson never gave up on the case until the killer was caught, arrested, and brought to justice. This man was arrested and charged for the murder of Dodo's brother, Jati. I don't remember the alleged shooter's correct name, but he was known as Red Ray from Whitfield Town. And he was the person who pulled the trigger and killed Mark Jati Quark. You understand? So that goes to show you that not only that the St. Andrew South Police did not care about politics, but it cared about people who have lost their life. You understand? So that's the way that the police was supposed to operate. It's supposed to operate in a sphere there where it shows that there's no politics involved or to protect anyone or because somebody name is aligned to certain crimes or whatever, convicted or not, but the person killing of a person is a crime. You understand? And we have seen it over and over in which this current commissioner of police and its acolytes have been skewing the law and protecting their friends and the law is not being enforced. You understand? I have lost all, four, all hope in the police force. As the Jamaica Constabulary Force is a force of good corruption. 
be careful whom you trust in the police force because you don't know who have ties to the criminal underworld. I know a few gazette officers who are serving that I would share information with, but I will stay far, far away from some of them and their names because a lot of these people are compromised and they are beholden to politicians and criminals alike. And the thing is that you would expect you know, police officers to know the difference between wrong and right. It doesn't matter because you and somebody were friends or you grow together. If they're doing something that is wrong, especially involving crimes with guns, with guns and you know, killing people and stuff like that, nothing is wrong for you as the police officer to point that out all to the person but when you allow yourself to be recruited by the same person to become a part of their gang or a part of their inner circle you automatically is a criminal irrespective of your rank it doesn't matter what's your rank once you know that somebody is committing crimes especially gun crimes in jamaica and you are friends with that person you are guilty of all the crimes that that person is committing to you understand? Tommy Lee, Tommy Lee, Sparta, Russell, Leroy Russell should be arrested and charged for both murders. There is no excuse for that. The weapon is there. We have two victims, two person who was killed. And it doesn't matter what been perceived in the media about these people. These people, they have, they have girlfriends, wives, children, grandchildren, or whatever, and these people were never convicted in any court in Jamaica for any crimes. And even if they were convicted, they are still Jamaicans and they still have the right to live. And once you kill somebody, you are supposed to be arrested and charged at that crime, and the weapon is there. There is no other evidence that pointing elsewhere this is the weapon that killed both men and the killer is in prison why isn't that man being arrested and charged why isn't Tommy Lee Sparta arrested and charged today and today is Saturday January 1st 2022 and he still hasn't been arrested and then you're telling us it's a force for good it's a force of good corruption because this man is not being charged he should be facing two murder charges and sweating. And he's supposed to be willing to sing and DJ like a good DJ he is. And spit the name of the person who gave him that gun. And then the other person would have to give up the other person. And so on and so forth. In the United States of America or anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter even if this weapon that killed both men. Even if the killing happened before he was born. He would be still arrested and charged at the murder. That's how it is in America. You have to tell us who give you the gun, and you have to, you, and the, the person that give you the gun has to be, ha, you has to give us all the information regarding this gun. He's not supposed to be in prison, there, and you have you have men standing around him, and he's sitting on a chair, plotting his in his ear. <laughs> you understand? I don't know what is happening with our police force. The Jamaica Constabulary Force matter is a police force of good. Yeah, man, a police force of good corruption. Under the leadership of Major Anthony Anderson, who is not a real or certified police officer, but a political act, who has no business playing commissioner of police. He has done a magnificent job protecting the Prime Minister of Jamaica's friends. They have committed crimes and are protected because the police hierarchy is compromised due to political allegiance and not to the oath of the Jamaican people. This police force at this moment is more corrupted than any other time. Not even in the 70s when Michael Manning was Prime Minister, the police force is corrupted as it is now. It is worse now. Not even in the 90s. When the, pol when the PMP was in power, the police force was corrupted as this is now. Because in the 1990s, I don't know of any case, any murder case, that people, that is so evident 
and with all the evidence pointed to the suspects and the police refused to act i have never seen nothing like this before and the police force is an even for political acts but for dcp bailey to state publicly that there is no suspect to be arrested and charged a german jr's murder is not only dishonest but is a blatant lie the circumstantial evidence that is there is taller than blue mountain view even a district constable would arrest mr patrick bailey and and the prosecutor will do the rest and convict him in a court of law the case with Tamale Sparta with that gun that is responsible for taking the life of Owen Rifle Clark and Alfonso one of British Harriet's life is there there's you don't even need any eyewitness the gun is there it's for him to prove that he was not there and that is no excuse because this is the gun that killed both men so what is the police waiting on to arrest and charge this man and Mr. Patrick Daly? Why is it the police force has become so compromised and so corrupt that we can see murder committed and the victims exist and the people who are responsible for killing these people are walking around scotch free? That is not fair. Justice cannot only be for some and not all no one is above the law mr patrick bailey is not above the law dcp fits bailey might think that he can protect mr patrick bailey but for how long mr patrick bailey should be arrested and charged a murder because there's no other suspect in this case there was two people in the house one is dead and the other is alive there was no breaking and entering so that makes mr patrick bailey the only plausible suspect or else he have to do some singing or DJing as Tommy Lee Sparta Tommy Lee Sparta should be arrested and charged for murder of Owen Clark and Alfonso Arias yes because he the gun that killed both men was recovered in his position so I'd like the police force to explain how is it that these men were killed and we don't even know who else the same gun has killed because we know that this police force is a police force for good corruption a force of good corruption and that is what has been happening with this man major anthony anderson he came in came to the office and he brought corruption and the corruption is just growing and growing we have never seen murderers being allowed to walk away from murder charges as if they have immunity from prosecution this is this is not jamaica this has gone right down to the criminals bidding mr bailey and tommy lee sparta also must be arrested and charged for murder we haven't heard the union the the, 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 the criminal union bosses come out to defend these victims if it was the police who were involved and the suspect that the police were involved the union the criminal unions would be out there lobbying the government for the police to be arrested and charged even although the evidence is not pointing that it is the police but in these cases we don't hear them so they're saying that their job is to attack the state to protect the criminals so you're better off in jamaica if you're a criminal because at least you have a union that is there that you have various union bosses that is there to defend you but when you're when you're murdered by one of the criminals they are silent so you see the hypocrisy in our beloved country you understand we have the police force that is more that a, a force for good corruption or a force of more corruption thanks to major anthony and he brought it here when he was coming on board um with his enlisted friend from the Jamaica Defense Force and the Police Service Commissioner was glad to promote this man to a Gazette officer rank. Can any police 
former police commissioner and become head of the Jamaica, Jamaica Defence Force. I bet you that, that, that could never happen. Something needs to be done about this killing of these men. Every life has value. Every person has family in their life that missed them. And what is happening with the police was dragging its feet. With these cases, I don't know who is giving the hardest not to prosecute Leroy, Tommy Lee, Spart and Russell for killing these men or they are waiting for him to be released from prison to be killed. I don't know, but it would be better if justice is served as we have seen it as Jamaica. The gun was found in this position. This is the gun that killed the man. We don't care if Tommy Lee Sparta was in hell at the time when, he, when um, Rifle was killed and Alfonso Ariat was killed. This is the gun. So the nexus to connect this man to the killing is the gun. Let him defend that. Let the jurors acquit him. You understand? These people are supposed to be arrested and charged. And that's the only way we can stop the corruption of the force that's giving us more corruption. You understand? Thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, share the video. Have yourself a nice day. Happy New Year again. And today is January 1st, 2022. Yeah, man, one love to all and stay here. Police force is a force of good corruption. It is corrupted now more than ever. Have yourself a happy new year. Peace.